All right, now we're going to talk about uh, a subject near and dear to my heart. Everybody screams about how dangerous it is to lower the hammer on a 1911 pistol because you'll shoot yourself and kittens will die and the Missouri River will reverse positions and global warming will occur or whatever else they throw into it. But it's, you know, it, it's no more dangerous, no more safe, no more or less dangerous than lowering the hammer on any other firearm. You just have to take your time and know what you're doing. You have to know how it's all in the technique. So we've got the pistol cocked in condition one, chamber empty, thumb the safety down. The thing that you're supposed to do is get control of the hammer first before you ever touch the trigger. And you get control of the hammer not by holding it here, but by hooking your thumb over it and holding it here. Pull it off the sear. At this point, you can either use the hammer itself to depress the grip safety, or reach up here if your hands aren't large enough and get a hold of it with your left thumb, then you lower the hammer. You can press the trigger and go to half cock. You can take it all the way down. And in order to cock it, you do the same thing. You don't get it back here because it's, it's going to slip about half the time. Pay attention to the technique. You hook your thumb, you've got the face of the hand. Now you're back cocked and locked. Now you hammer down. All right. Same thing with doing the uh, pinch check. Most people have seen Steven Seagal do it, and he does it all wrong. He keeps the grip safety depressed. You turn loose of the, the grip safety so it can kick out, so that the trigger is blocked. You get a hold of the hammer, then you reach in, and you pinch check, and you look at your chain. And the whole time you've got control of the hammer, then you put the safety back on, and the pistol is pinch checked in complete safety. And now we're done.